2017, the year of the YouTube diss track. Oh my gosh. And I know you wanna get in, in the action, but you're like, oh no, how can I do it? I'm just a small little subscriber. I'm just a small YouTuber. I can't make a diss track. Shut up, man. I've got you, all right? We're gonna make a diss track. You're gonna be a legend, yeah? Even if your name isn't John or Joanna, you'll be like, Joanna legend, yeah? This is how you're gonna make your own diss track. I've got five steps. Let's get into it right now. Three, two, one. Bam. All right, so you can't have a diss track if there's no beef, right? First, you've got to have some beef, some tension, something going on. So the two options you've got are either number one, you and someone come together and you say, all right, cool, let's create a fake beef. Or number two, you just straight up call someone out. It's out of the blue, boom, call them out. Let's get into both of those options right now. All right, so if you're gonna create a fake beef, yeah, you and the other person, you need to collaborate, you need to be like, all right, look, this is what we're gonna do, yeah? You can either use your YouTube channel or probably Twitter. Twitter's a good one, man. Just like start doing some little indirects at each other every now and then. People are gonna start noticing and be like, oh, look what you said about him. Oh, look what she said about her. And then it will stem from there. So then when the diss tracks do come, boom. It wasn't out of nowhere because you got this fake little reason of why you built up this little fake beef. But the second option, whew. Just calling them out, oh my oh gosh. Man. This oh one man. is, that, that. this is the savage option, yeah? Just imagine, all you guys that grew up watching wrestling, yeah? There's a person you wanna diss, yeah? They're in the ring, in WrestleMania. And they're walking around, all happy, looking at their fans, celebrating, they think they've won. And you're just there, waiting for the spare. You got your diss track ready to upload, yeah? And then they turn around, and then bang! That's when you hit them with the diss track. Out of nowhere, boom, they're on the floor. Everyone's like, Oh my days, have you heard this diss track? It's fire. This guy's mad, this girl's mad. That's you. Bam. You just called them out. That's it. Surprise attack. Boom. All right, so you decided how you're gonna start your beef, right? Now, you need to get the beat, right? Because first, if you get the beat, this is how I would write. You get the beat, then you write your lyrics after, all right? First things first, the beat has to be banging. play the track, the beat's the thing that's gonna get their head bopping, right? They're gonna be that. If the beat's dead, it's gonna be like, imagine you're in a club and the DJ's mixing, yeah? And they're bringing in this mix and it sounds decent and everyone's getting hyped and then they drop it and it's just like some dead song. And everyone's like, what? what? What was that? That's gonna be like you hyping, yeah, this track, this Friday, six o'clock. You you're not ready, you're not ready. And then you drop it and everyone's just like, Wait, that, 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 was the dis, that was the diss track. Well, that's disappointing. And that'll be like the top comment on your video. Well, this was disappointing. Don't let that be you, bro. All right, so fake beef, check. Dope beat, check. Petter, check. Cool. Now you need the bars, all right? We're look, looking at two things. Look at the lyrics and we're looking at the flow. All right, so all this talk about diss tracks than that. What about if I made a diss track for Jake Paul? All right, let's see what I would say. Mm, lick off Jake Paul's head and play baseball. Sport back, you're ungrateful. Bring Team 10 down to the East End, straight in the deep end, see if you're a G then. Jeez. Accomplishments unlocked, I achieved them. Go just achieve then. Hey, something like that. Just four bars. Quick thing, I'm not sending for Jake Paul. Jake Paul, you're safe for now, all right? I got like under 300 subs. You're cool for now, cool for now. All right, so in terms of the lyrics, yeah, we need one of two things. Either we need some dirt, or we just need to like, just humiliate them. Like, just look at them and think of what you can say. Like, look at their hairline. Like, oh, the fan, you look at your hairline. Why is that side look like a little donut? Like, why are your eyebrows connected? Like. Oh, you look like a giraffe, like, you know what I mean? Just some funny, humiliating stuff like that. Or, get some dirt. 
yeah that's the best stuff from these diss tracks that like, if there's some dirt or some history some things you can expose nothing too crazy but some things you can expose that's the thing that's when people are going like you know them gifs when it's like that's what you want man dude. when like when ksi said about um was it simon when he said about the coin site and then the guy's like this is on gtr with your coin money and everyone's like oh yeah the coin website oh and that's when you know that's when people do the start doing the harlem shaking that again yeah in terms of flow like just right to the beat man like if the beat's that then you just need to go with that and make sure what you're writing is like in the flow or practice it with other people they're gonna be like if they're bopping and they're going with while you're rapping it's good if you're kind of off they're gonna look at you like then you need to like switch up the flow a bit all right so you've got your diss track congratulations now you need a video you need a sick video so you got two things i'm giving you two options that's it it has to be funny or it has to be cool or both of them mixed together right. nothing else yeah i don't want no like dramatic uh, love story i don't want no thriller i don't want some like romantic comedy cool or funny all right if it's cool and funny it's the best yeah because you want people to laugh you want, you want people to see like you know ah, oh, this, this person is funny this person is cool and even better if you can get someone in your video that looks like the person you're dissing for example, the one where who is it? Somebody had a fake rice gum, and then somebody had a fake Ethan, right? If you can do that, I make it cool, I make it funny, like the images I'm showing you now. Bang, you've got it. Because what you got to think is when people are watching your video, they want to see like, ah, oh, this guy's jokes, ah, oh, this girl's jokes, ah, oh, this is funny, ah, oh, this is cool. You put all those things together, you're laughing, man. You're gonna be this track legend. Gonna be have this track legendary status. When people write like about this tracks in the dictionary and on Urban Dictionary, it's gonna have your face. And then me behind you, just like a proud teacher. It's like. Alright, so no matter what KSI says, you <clears throat> are now ready to go and this your heart's out. Like this to your heart. Is content all right like just disrupt YouTube just dismantle your opponents and destroy them hey hey listen I've got bars you know I just came up with that right now but if you guys actually do make a diss track let me know down below I would love to see or have you already made a diss track for someone I don't care if it's got 10 views or 20 views I would love to see it so just let me know down below and also what is your favorite diss track that has been made on YouTube so far this year. And I'm sure I'm gonna make another video about these tracks because I've got an idea. Got an idea. I'm up to something. Hmm. I'm up to something. But for now, that's it. Click around for other videos. Don't forget to subscribe because Nate is here. Nate is back. Hashtag Nate back, not Pog back, Nate back. All right, let's get it. This your heart out, man. Peace and love the final GE. Bye.